y over x back in for u? We don't have to. That's the, that's the advantage of changing these bounds. Okay, I probably won't change the bounds. Then, yeah, you would have to do... Then I can put it back in right. and then I can solve the function yeah. out. And you'll get the same thing. You'll end up yeah. with this. But yeah, if you try to take the derivative with respect to y first, you're going to have problems. Why is it e to the y? Is that from so if so e to the e to the zero? Oh, you're not doing zero. Yeah, I'm okay. doing y to y over two. And once I leave, I'll rework it and I it, I can follow it a lot better. Yeah. That's kind of why I need a little bit of a break before I take this one. Okay, and then, do you know uh, what these answers are supposed to be? If I'm doing it right. For which way? I don't I don't know. This is the first time I've I think forty eight was right here. Right here. Yeah. Let's see, so you took your respect to it and both respect to Y. Okay, so I did an integral in respect to Y, so then I just pulled out the part of the Y right here. This is just the Y part, and then I derived it. Or I integrated it, okay. and this is integrated already and already two, because that's all you're going to do, right? right? And then I this is the next step from zero to one. The same thing, and I derive that. Okay. There's that. And then I subtract it. That's fine. Okay. And then the other one I wasn't sure of was sixteen. So one hundred one over one hundred eight is the right answer. It is. Yeah. Okay. And then I had no idea what those boxes. I didn't understand that. Because okay, you went over it a little bit. So you're trying to find the volume of this of this guy. And so what this is telling you here is this this top part is a z equals six minus x. That's the top. And you want the volume underneath this surface. What top part? What do like you mean? The, the top of the top of whatever the shape this is. Okay. So this part, the top plane or top side is the six z equals six minus x. Okay. So what you're trying to compute is the volume of this whole solid. And so that's going to end up being integral over r of 